want to move on a little bit to talk a little bit about some Algorand news. Uh, we've got some Algorand news coming out of the Algorand Global Summit or the Algorand Impact Summit, excuse me, in New Delhi, India. Uh, I'm going to show a little video right here. Well, I'm excited to welcome Robert Pasichka to the stage. Robert, you run the Alternative Finance Lab at UNDP, the United Nations Development Program. And we're here together today because we have an announcement to make you want to share with the audience here at the Impact Summit. Yes, uh, thank you for having me here. So at UNDP, we are present in over 170 countries and territories. And basically, we are supporting governments in 170 plus countries and territories. What we can see for the last several years is there is a growing demand to, from, from the governments to understand better how can blockchain, crypto, Web 3.0, influence their own digital strategies, their own development. And in order to be able to support them, we also have to invest in ourselves. And I'm super happy that we have uh, kind of designed and soon will be initiating Algorand Blockchain Academy for UNDP. And this is where we want to get our staff deeper involved to understand these concepts and to understand what are the implications for the development in our work. So I'm super happy for this. We are starting with our regional bureau for Europe and Central Asia, but also uh, in Latin America, we will translate it to Spanish language. And after that, we are planning to our Tadamon project, NGO Empowerment Project, to open it up also for NGOs uh, from our network, more than 34 countries at the moment. Okay, wow, that's really exciting. I mean, I can just speak for the Algorand Foundation. We're super excited to partner with UNDP on the Algorand Blockchain Academy. Um, when will the academy kick off? So what we are hoping is that like something from February, March, we can already have the first cohort out after we learn from some kind of, you know, with this, with this first cohort, we will be able to uh, uh, tweak it a bit. So to see what are the, what are the things that need to be more smoother or to add something more or to maybe take something out. And, uh, and then we hope that after May, June, it will be open for all the UNDP uh, employees, over 22,000 people. So it will be additional possibility for them to get trained. Okay. Thank you very much, Robert. Thank you. Wow. Yeah, so I think this is huge news. And for anybody that follows Algorand knows that this is actually a tactic that they've had since the start where they would actually, I mean, it started with universities. They'd start these educational programs where they'd get into a bunch of different universities and basically create a blockchain education course where the students were learning about blockchain for the first time, but about the Algorand blockchain, how to build smart contracts, how to build applications and all the things of the sort. And it's this is a really an extension, in my opinion, of the long game here. I mean, Algorand's criticized for not creating hype in the short term, but what happens when you create a situation where there's tens of thousands, maybe millions of people who learn blockchain for the first time and how to code on blockchain for the first time on Algorand? Sure, it might not yeah. show the fruits in the next year or so, but in the long term, in the long run, when there's tens of thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands of people, depending on how big this newly uh, newly launched Algorand Academy gets uh, provided by the United Nations Development uh, Program, it, it could be something where literally there's tens of thousands, maybe even hundreds of thousands of people that are learning Algorand for their learning how to code on a blockchain and that blockchain happens to be Algorand. What do you think of this development? Do you think this is a good long-term strategy? Uh, do you think they should focus on something else? What are your thoughts? I think they're definitely playing the long game with this one. I mean, you know, there's always the questions about developers. There's always the questions about, you know, are they doing the right kind of marketing that we've heard, we've had these conversations time and time again. I think they're definitely playing the long game. Um, I haven't talked to like, you know, John or anything since this has come out. And I'm actually kind of interested to learn about more of the details of this. Cause I know like with now Algorand, you can like, you, you, I know it's coded in Teal, but you can do it on Python and eventually other programming languages. So like which programming languages are they teaching it in? Is it going to be in Teal or like, Python that gets converted back to Teal is essentially what they do with like some waterfall type of technique. I don't know how to code. That's just what I've heard. Right. But I'm interested a lot about like, you know, like what, how they're going about it. And, you know, like saying like, you know, you're going to learn about a class, but you know, we don't know like what it looks like, you know, and I'd really, I don't know if they're going to do any like virtual 
type classes you can like kind of sit in on one like to see like right. to get a feel for what they're how they're going about it, that kind of thing but i i don't think it's a waste of effort i think you know uh education especially in the crypto sector is everything my well, whole crypto journey is about the constant pursuit of education so they're and I'm giving curious, people a chance you know i'm curious if it'll even be an open educational platform because the way it at least that video made it seem is that it's going to be more catered towards of course the undp which has about twenty two thousand employees as well as ngos non-government organizations and governments around the world so uh yeah, to me this, of course, it would be great if eventually the UNDP opened up the academy, the Algorand Academy to the public, or if that's already the plan, that's fantastic. But to to be able yeah. to train uh, basically the United Nations development program, as well as uh, maybe tens or hundreds of countries around the world uh, and non-government organizations on your blockchain, I do think could eventually show fruits of some really interesting uh, applications coming out of these non-government organizations and as well as coming out of these various countries that end up learning uh, the platform. But yeah, you bring up some really good questions on uh, what they'll ex exactly be learning. I mean, I mean there are yeah. more choices now for the coding language. So, you know, are they going to be learning uh, a few of them or are they they're going to be, you know, it, it, you do yeah. bring up some good That's questions. More that that is more semantical stuff and kind of course, like yeah. like my knee knee jerk reaction to ask but really honestly i i'm pretty big on the idea because like you and i both know that it really only takes like one really determined focused person to literally change the world and they're like you know offering this educational opportunity to thousands and thousands of people and really all it takes is a handful of those students that you know learn on algorand to maybe create a, an application or whatever that changes the game so i think they're they're you know they're helping they're helping out to help themselves i think it's a right. really smart long-term move for the, on them for sure for sure absolutely what they do they're always about the long game we know this they are and, and sometimes they get criticized for it because they're not creating that hype in the short term but you know i think the fruits of it will pay off in the long run honestly because some of the we've seen over the last two cycles some of the most hyped coins end up you know disappearing into obscurity or you know yep. by the time the next bull run happens so you know it, it might be great during that one bull run, but sometimes you don't want to be the most hyped coin. Oh, well, and you know, I, I think that in their case, when you have tech that good, like when you literally have like the best product, like in the Algorand video that I made uh, on my channel a little while ago is like, it's kind of being like, like you're like, you're a, a runner as fast as Usain Bolt, but you didn't make it to the Olympics because you got beat in a popularity contest. That's mm. what it's like for Algorand. Like they are the Usain Bolt of, you know, technology stacks in crypto, like the top tech. Like it's pretty, there are arguments, but like without a doubt, top three. Right. In my opinion, without a doubt, top three, in my opinion. And even if you want and to give I it feel, wiggle room, I mean, I think top five yeah. to 10 technology out there is definitely, uh, you know, easy, easy to argue. And uh, you're absolutely right. The, yes. price, the prices don't necessarily correlate to, uh, that sort of strength. So it's not necessarily winning on merits because I believe Algorand is now market cap 51 out of, out of what, tens of thousands of cryptos that are out there now. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, I do agree. I do think it's like a top 10, yeah. top five technology, but uh, we have, we have the wrong judges at the Olympics. Yeah, for sure. The wrong judges for sure. And I also, I also, you know, I'm pretty sure that they do care a little bit more about hype marketing than people would like to think they do. Oh, absolutely. I think that with the rebrand idea that has kind of been touted around a little bit at Agaran, I think that next year they're going to pull some rabbits out of the hat and that they, they're going to come correct next year. I've, I've talked to John and some people on the team about like, you know, their plans. And I, I think that there might surprise a lot of us next year on what they're going to do moving forward now even with this coming out they're just kind of just snowballing momentum right now and i think it's going to be pretty pretty soon they're going to roll it down the hill so I, i'm excited to see how fast it goes absolutely i mean of course i have i have some connections behind the scenes and i kind of agree with you i think everything it, they hear the criticism that's ultimately what it is they yep. hear the criticism yep. and they're adjusting and that's exactly what you want you want to be able to criticize and see it being heard and and see some changes from that and i, I do think they're performing i do think they're going to 
surprise a lot of people, both on uh, uh, in a tech side. I do think there's going to be some more things coming out in 2024 on the tech side of things that are really interesting. And I do think the marketing side of things is also going to ramp up in 2024. You just watched a clip from my recent discussion with AJ from AJ Writes Crypto. If you enjoyed the discussion, smash that thumbs up button and consider subscribing to the channel. And to catch the entire interview, check out the video description down below for a link to that episode. We have a bunch of fantastic guests from all across the ecosystem coming on the channel over the next month. You're not going to want to miss those conversations. We've got interviews, tutorials, news, and so much more coming out. Super excited to be back posting on my own channel. Give me a subscribe, give me a like, and let me know down in the comments below what you think of this clip. On that note, thanks for watching to the end of this video. Be sure to hit that notification bell so you don't miss the next time we upload, and we will catch you in the next episode. Thanks. Ladies and gentlemen.